Learning Agents. Dr. George Takuchi is the director of the Learning Agents Center at George Mason University, as well as a professor there. He's a professor of computer science, and he has two PhDs. He's a former chair of AI, artificial intelligence, at the U.S. Army War College. Published over 150 papers on intelligent agents, methodologies, tools, etc., and a recognized leader in what I call the next generation of expert systems. George, welcome. systems and talk about uh, new generation of systems uh, that are called learning assistants and present uh, two of the systems that uh, we have developed and their application in learning, uh, education and training. First let me introduce uh, our research center. This is a university research center that uh, conducts basic and applied research on developing uh, uh, intelligent agents and also supports teaching in uh, the related areas of uh, intelligent agents, artificial intelligence and their applications. And uh, what is unique about our center is that it develops uh, an approach to build these uh, intelligent agents uh, direct, uh, they are being directly by a subject matter expert rather than uh, a knowledge engineer or computer scientist. And, uh, uh, we also uh, are interested in, in a full cycle, uh, starting from basic research to developing tools, <coughs> applications, and transitions. Uh, what I'm presenting here is uh, the work of uh, uh, many collaborators over many years. So what are expert systems? Uh, uh, These uh, systems, uh, the, the first one uh, were developed uh, in, in 70s and 80s. Uh, uh, was a big excitement. These are systems that uh, incorporate human problem solving knowledge uh, and allow them to perform a, a task that would otherwise be performed uh, by a human expert. And uh, such an expert uh, system could be used uh, to support uh, a human expert uh, to perform uh, a task better or may perform an expert task uh, for a non-expert user or may teach non-expert users how to perform a task. There are many uh, uh, success stories uh, uh, in the history of expert systems. Uh, uh, one of them, for instance, uh, a logistic uh, programs uh, developed uh, by DARPA um, it was uh, reportedly uh, said that it saved uh, during the uh, Gulf, uh, Persian Gulf crisis of 1991 uh, more uh, than uh, the investment that uh, DARPA uh, did in artificial intelligence. But how are these uh, uh, systems built and, and why is it hard, uh, in fact? Uh, and Feigenbaum is uh, one of the founding fathers of this system and uh, gave an address in 1993 uh, where he, he reviewed these technologies that has uh, su such a huge uh, potential and yet the adoption of this technology uh, was linear rather than exponential. And the reason for this is that it is really hard to build such a system and the way it is built is that you, you have a knowledge engineer or computer scientist that has to uh, understand how subject matter expert reason solves problems and then encode this knowledge into the knowledge base of the system. This, this process is very long, uh, difficult, uh, error prone, uh, and, and, and therefore it costs a lot to build such a system. Uh, for many years we are investigating a different approach uh, where uh, rather than uh, uh, having this uh, uh, middle uh, person here, uh, we would like uh, to develop a smarter system which we call learning agent that could be taught directly uh, by a subject matter expert but with limited uh, or no assistance from a knowledge engineer or computer scientist. This is in this case actually recognize the potential of uh, uh, developing uh, machine learning uh, techniques. So uh, now about these expert systems, as I mentioned, we are uh, working on this for over 20 years. Uh, the idea is to develop 
learning and problem solving agent. These are computer programs uh, that can be taught directly by a subject matter expert who is not a computer scientist or knowledge engineer. And the idea is that uh, for, to allow the subject matter expert to teach such a computer in a way that is similar to how the expert would teach a person or a student. So for instance, if you want to teach reasoning in some area, you would take a specific problem and explain to the system how and why you are solving it in that way, and the system will learn uh, from this. Uh, we have uh, developed many applications in intelligence analysis, uh, uh, military course of action, critiquing, emergency response planning, uh, how to select a PhD advisor, uh, or uh, uh, breast cancer uh, treatment innovation, and, and even in the financial service industry. Uh, I will talk about two of these applications, but first, this is uh, the life cycle uh, of a disciple agent. Uh, this is the name of the, uh, that we, we give to the agents we are developing. And uh, uh, this is a cycle that I, we generally use uh, when we uh, develop uh, such agents. Uh, and we have a long-term collaboration with, with USR or College, for instance. Uh, but basically you have such uh, a computer program that has the ability to learn and solve problems and reason, but doesn't have any specific knowledge in the knowledge base, like a baby. Uh, and the first stage is, is to teach this agent how to reason. And here we are working with subject matter experts and uh, we, we can't say that the eliminates all of the knowledge engineer or computer scientist who is still needed but is needed significantly uh, reduced from uh, uh, traditional expert systems. So, so first you teach this agent, and then the agent, and then in this case, for instance, our experts, some of our experts are, are, are professors at uh, US Army or college. Uh, and, and then this system is used in, in courses at the Army or college as, as a kind of tutoring system, helping the students how to um, uh, solve some type of problems. Of course, uh, the, there is a case study in center of gravity analysis, and the students are high ranking officers at the level of the corners and corners, and then they take this uh, uh, course and they use uh, uh, such an agent as a decision support assistant. I will talk more about this application later on and learn from how this uh, system is solving problem, problems. And, uh, once they became uh, familiar uh, with this technology, they, they would take the system with them and, and uh, uh, use it uh, in uh, their current uh, work. Now, in, in this case, the system would act as an assistant to a subject matter expert, but would continue to learn from uh, uh, the problem solving experience that is. Uh, done jointly with uh, this person and also help uh, different experts collaborate. Uh, in our methodology, there is an after action in new phase uh, and also a phase in which this agent that continuously develop its knowledge, um, uh, you, you will have uh, situations in which different users will have different assistants that continually capture uh, more knowledge and that uh, we like to combine uh, and consolidate this knowledge into a more competent agent that uh, goes back into the process. Uh, 